are wanted by night. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. But we're going to find out in this first impressions video coming up. Welcome back to another video of Daniel Smells. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to be doing a first impressions video of Zara Wanted by Night. So first we're going to be going over pricing and what you're going to get for that price. So you're going to get a 1.7 ounce for about $70, and then you're going to be getting a 3.4 ounce for about $90. And this, these are all prices that I got from Macy. So this is actually where I picked up this bottle. So what are the notes? in this fragrance. So the top notes are going to be cinnamon and orange, your mid notes are going to be red cedar, incense, and cumin. Yes, cumin. And the base notes are going to be cedar, tobacco, and cypress. So it's an interesting note breakdown just because that cumin's in there. A lot of people will say that it smells a bit sour, kind of like body odor-ish. But let's see how it is because I never smelled this stuff before. I'm super excited to smell it. So now it comes down to the unboxing of this. So I'm excited. Let's, let's get to it. So, oh my goodness. It's so exciting to open up a new box. So, there we go. I got the butterfly in my stomach. So here we go, we're opening it up. On top you got that cool little revolver. revolver chamber right there. Can you say it right? Revolver. Revolver. Yep. Here you go. Oh my goodness. The coolest bottle ever too. So here it is right here. So this is again the 3.4 ounce that I got for $90 over at Macy's. So it's going to be slightly different than the original Wanted. So the original Wanted it's the actual top is a little, little more lighter as well as the bottom. But this one right here the base is a little more dark. Same thing with the with the revolver type chamber right here on the top. It's gonna be a little bit more dark, and it's it's pretty solid. Well, this part's plastic here, but the cap is actually metal, and it, it has a little bit of weight to it. So here you go. This is what I've been waiting for. First impressions. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay, so right away I pick up the original Azara Wanted, kind of like that bubblegum type of um, scent that you get from uh, Invictus, but you definitely get those darker notes in there too, you're going to get that, that cinnamon, that tobacco too. So I'm really interested to see how this actually dries down. So. Okay, yeah, it definitely, it, it's, it doesn't project a lot so it's not gonna be like really annoying but you still gonna get that fresh spiciness to it too so and it's warm spicy as well too it's a mixture of both fresh and warm it smells like you actually wear it for all all seasons actually for I can see myself wearing this in the summer in the fall Winter and spring. Yeah, this is definitely like an all around seasons uh, uh, fragrance that, that you can wear. I would actually say this is almost a, a signature scent worthy. Dang, okay. I like that too. Definitely a fan of the, of the original Azaro Wanted. And this one, this is like Azaro Wanted grown up. He's a little bit more mature. He's got his. Uh, this crap together and now he's not looking for that one night stand he's a more sophisticated more reserved but yet very confident he knows what he wants so the dry down on this I've waited about an hour or so to see how this fragrance actually develops and it's definitely a lot different than the original Wanted. The original Wanted, when it dried out, it still had that, that citrusy, zingy type um, of a scent. Whereas this one, Azara Wanted by Night, it's more 
dark. You get a lot more of that tobacco, that cinnamon, and that boozy, of course, too. So, just like the name of the fragrance, By Night, that's the, the perfect name for it. You wear this one at night, you wear a Zara once in the daytime. That's it. So I'm definitely be spending a little more time with this fragrance to see how it develops, um, if the longevity is good, if the projection is going to be good. Also, like I said, if the comments are going to be um, good as well. But I'm very happy with this. This smells amazing. You know? I mean, the, the original one did smell amazing too. And this is, a, this one actually might be better. I would prefer this over the original Amante just because this is a lot more uh, uh, refined. It's, it has more depth into it, it's more rich, it's more, it has more character, it has, it's just an all around better scent than the original Amante. But then again, I do like the original Amante as well too. So if you haven't checked this out, give it a try. Go to your local fragrance store, whether it be Macy's, Whoever carries this, and give it a try and get your nose on it, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and again, thank you for all the subscribers that I have. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching.